On this episode of Selling Jets, Ken's childhood dream was to become an aviator. Now, having been a charter pilot for 23 years, he now considers the purchase of a light business jet for his charter clients. Broker Leonard Goldberg has a 2013 Cessna Citation CJ4 to offer. And having shared Ken's childhood dream in aviation, has lined up an eye-popping surprise for Ken, an open cockpit stick and rudder Waco biplane. Hi, my name is Ken. I've been a true aviator since 1989. Found my passion in aviation back when in childhood where I was building model aircraft. And uh, that was my desire and aviation was my dream and hobby and everything. Made my uh, dream to realize in uh, 1993 when I started off in Atlantic Airlines. Uh, we were a charter uh, operation uh, operating Navajo chieftains. Back in uh, 2009, specialized on the Embraer Phenom products, uh, 100 and 300. I've flown myself over 15,000 hours myself, about 5,000 hours in jets, and become a light jet specialist. Leonard Goldberg is the owner of Gold Aviation Services in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Hi, Leonard. Hey, Hi. great. How are you doing, Ken? Great, great. It's been a long time. How's the aviation doing? Aviation is great. Still having fun? Yeah, still flying a lot and staying busy, and, you know, non-stop. And I heard you're ready for a new type right Absolutely, now. yes. All right, let's go to my office and talk about it. All right. Come on back. Well, have a seat. Thank and, you. And uh, let's talk about the, the CJ4 that we spoke about on the phone. Great. So I know that we had uh, talked, and you want to add a new type rating to your plethora of type ratings, and we had the CJ4 that you were interested in. Yeah, the reason I'm looking for a new airplane uh, like a Citation CJ4, um, it, it's something new and uh, it's still affordable. Um, uh, you can buy them at, at a great price right now for what you get. And the biggest thing, it's single pilot. Uh, that's number one. I don't have to depend on another pilot. Uh, I'm a professional pilot myself and, and know how to fly these machines, so it's, it is affordable. And I can just jump in and go anywhere I want to go. It's a 2013 CJ4, one owner operated. 800 hours approximate total time, and 400 cycles. So it's a good uh, flight hour to cycle ratio. It's fully covered under programs. It's been uh, maintenance tracked by camp. You've got your uh, engine program, uh, which is the TAP Advantage Elite. Uh, you've got your plane parts, which is for the avionics, the Collins Proline 21, and then you've got pro parts for the airframe. So you're fully covered, very turnkey, okay. very well maintained, and uh, you do have eight seats. You have six cabin seats in the cabin, and you have two seats on the divan, and then of course the pilot co-pilot seat, uh, which is airplane cabby flown single pilot. That's definitely good to know. Has all these programs, and it's you know safe operating to operate this aircraft, and you know you have to worry about any unforeseen expenses. So that's important for me. So. Correct. Yeah. Uh, paint and interior is in excellent condition. Uh, so this is really truly a turnkey airplane you can step right into. Good. All right. Now. So I have a little bit of a surprise. Waco Aircraft has been making airplanes since 1920. It's a U.S. manufactured airplane. They're making them new today, and they're taking old radial engines and uh, refurbishing them. It's a great collector piece to have. It's a collector piece, and it's a lot of fun to fly. So I was thinking maybe that would satisfy some of your stick and rudder um, and single pilot activities. So I thought I'd show it to you, see if um, you've got any interest in it. Great, Leonard. Awesome. All right, Looking so, forward. Um, I know you're educated on, well educated on airplanes, so you want to just go right to it and get out there in the hangar and take a look. Let's do it. All right, look forward to it. Let's go take a look. Ken, welcome to the hangar. Thanks, Leonard. Want to show you a few airplanes? Okay, great. It's nice. Got a little bit of everything. Kodiak, nice. I like the way you present things. So they nice. take really uh, yeah, yeah. good care of everything. Uh, looks very nice. So this is the CJ4, what do you think? First impression. Very nice, very nice. I like the tail on it. Yeah. See the large wing here, and you can see it has 
uh, holds our fuel, that's why we probably get that 2,000 mile range. It's about 2,000 yeah. nautical mile range. Exactly. Correct. Okay, so. We've got the hot wing. Hot wing, I see that, yep. Uh, it can go into shorter fields than a lot of jets at size because it's really designed for the owner pilot. Right, right. FJ44 engines? That's correct. Okay, great. And uh, what's the uh, thrust? The thrust is about 1,700 horsepower per engine. Very nice, okay. Yeah, and you can cruise about 0.76 Mach. So it's certified what, to 45,000 feet? It's certified 45,000 feet, like I said, 0.76 Mach yeah. cruise, 2,000 yeah. nautical mile range, uh, full of fuel, so you do have to sacrifice some weight in the cabin. Okay. You can't go full of people. Right, right. So the uh, drastic thing, uh, what's the time going up to, for, let's say, 410, four which is typically out of your... Yeah, generally speaking, the time is 22 minutes. 22 minutes, that's pretty good, yeah. yeah. That's at max gross weight. That's at max gross weight, okay. correct. So if you've seen enough outside, yeah. why don't we step inside the aircraft? Sure, let's go. Go ahead. The 2013 Cessna Citation CJ4 is a light business jet from Cessna. With approximately 800 total hours and 400 landings, the CJ4 is single pilot certified, seats two crew and eight passengers, and includes a small galley and lavatory. Powered by Williams FJ44 4A turbofans, it has a 2265 nautical mile range, a ceiling of 45,000 feet, and a maximum speed of 519 miles per hour, asking 7 million. See? What's your first impression of the CJ4? Very nicely fit and finish. I like the interior, I like the seating. Um, looks very rich and plush. Um, Everybody's got their own entertainment, their uh, seat. Yes, I see that. You've got the tables, folding tables, tables. as well. Yep. Fully articulating seats. So after takeoff, before landing, you can move the seats around in any position so you can have conversations. That makes a long flight very comfortable. Long as well. flights comfortable, yeah. So you could actually make them berthable so people could lay down and sleep. Yeah, and then you've got a nice, comfortable lavatory. The typical mission, you're talking about what, three and a half hour mission? So the plane basically has a four and a half hour range. Your typical mission is going to be in the three, three hour spot. That's right. the, kind of the sweet spot of the economics, the performance, and the comfort. So let's say even the range is, uh, you said 2,000 miles, the typical range this airplane would be utilized for is about 1,200 miles? Yeah, that'd be about miles. right. You know, from South Florida to New York, it's 1,000 nautical miles, which is very popular. Right. Uh, you can go to, then you extend that a little bit to 1,200, you go to Chicago, and you can keep, keep going west. Anytime you're over three and a half hours, you don't want to be in a small airplane anyways. Coming up on Selling Jets. Ken, I'm very excited to show you the Waco aircraft, and it's manufactured new today, right here in the United States of America. This plane still has a radial engine. It's a very unique, bi-wing airplane, open-air airplane, a true aviator's dream. Leonard Goldberg is the owner of Gold Aviation Services in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Today we're showing Ken a 2013 CJ4. It has approximately 800 hours of total time on it and about 400 landings. Uh, the airplane has the Rockwell Collins Proline 21 avionics suite covered by plane parts. Uh, the plane's been one owner since new. And the engines are covered by the Williams TAP Elite program. And then on the airframe, you have the Pro Parts program. So the plane's fully covered, the plane's ready to go. It's a comfortable eight passenger cabin with two crew, uh, but the plane can be flown single pilot, which is Ken's objective. So this aircraft is equipped with GoGo -Go Wi Fi. Okay. Uh, it's the 5000, so it's very high speed. You can accommodate 25. Uh, devices at one time. Great. Typically, uh, what, what do they pay for a uh, monthly subscription on a wireless? So the unlimited is $4,000 a month for the unlimited. Unlimited. Okay. So it really depends how much you're going to use it. There's different programs. They start at $320 and then go to $4,000. What do you suggest what people should do? Uh... Depending on your use of the aircraft. So if you use it two times a month, there's a $1,200 program that would co probably cover all your utilization. Okay. If you're going to use it a bit more than that, you really need to look at that $4,000. So Leonard mentioned to me that this airplane is very desirable to the public uh, for chartering out, which was a big plus sign to me. So tell me about this. See, once I buy the airplane um, to offset my costs, can I can I go ahead and charter the airplane? Absolutely. Out? So the CJ4 is a popular airplane because of its performance and economics. 
Uh, it does charter pretty well, and it brings the owner some defray, defrayance in his expense of carrying the airplane. Obviously, you don't make money doing that, but uh, if you want a little bit of extra money to defray your cost of ownership, if you don't use the plane enough, it's a good way to defray your cost. Side, what, what kind of money am I looking at? That's the, yeah, so basically, uh, on this type of airplane, let's say you said it's $7 million? Correct. So it's my $7 million investment, and then what do I return out of it? Yeah, so on a next-gen airplane, net to the owner, uh, when I say net, after your operating costs, we return the owner about $1,000 an hour. That $1,000 an hour goes towards the fixed operating cost. So a single pilot airplane like this is gonna run you about $200,000 a year, $250,000 a year for your fixed. So we would actually bring in about $1,000 an hour. In 100 hours, it's 100,000. So we cut your fixed operating costs in half. At 200 hours of charter, we basically cover your fixed operating costs. You still have your capital costs, but that's generally how the economics work. Got you, okay. And then also um, uh, maintaining the airplane, uh, you're res responsible for maintaining the Correct. airplane? Correct, we'll oversee the maintenance on the aircraft. Uh, we have our director of maintenance that will manage it. Uh, it's on all the programs, so your, your cost is pretty much fixed. Okay, tell me about your pilot uh, program, what you have to offer. Well, what we could do is we could provide the mentor pilot that you're looking for, uh, for the 100 hours or so that insurance wants before you can fly the plane single pilot. Um, so we could do it on a per day basis. Obviously for a per day, we would need quite a bit advance notice. If you want to do a lot of pop-up trips, I would recommend retaining a pilot on some, some sort of salary uh, or retainer uh, so they're readily available for you. If you're okay with uh, giving, you know, at least a week's notice, we can generally find a per day pilot to fly with you uh, and act as a metro pilot. I understand, okay. okay. You pay either a per day rate. How long is the pilot rate. training? Uh, pilot training is about three weeks for the new type rate. New job, okay. Yep. Got you. Okay. And that training is good for how long? Uh, it's one year. One year. And really that's dictated by the insurance company. They want to see the uh, simulator based train. When you go back second year for recurrent training, it's only about five days. So let's say I'm an owner, I want to buy, uh, buy this airplane and I need to get trained, three weeks training. Would I then also be allowed to fly for you? So we would have to then do additional training to go under our charter certificate. So you'd have to do basically basic in dock on our charter certificate, that would be before you went for your training. So there's some additional training that we can do, but the answer is yes, if you wanted to go yeah, that route. Because I might do that because I want to fly the aircraft. Yeah. You know, If I don't want to fly it all the time for myself, you know, I might as well use my flying yeah. skills and fly for somebody like you. That makes so sense. That, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, and it really hones your pilot skills in. Absolutely. Adding and the, see a profession the, at the same time. Yeah, yeah, being a charter pilot definitely hones in your uh, That's skills. the worst case scenario. I don't want to get type rated and then fly six times a year and right. call it a day. So you need to stay professional, which is right. That's correct. So yeah. absolutely, that's definitely uh, an option. Great, Alex. All right. Well, uh, no more questions. We'll go take a look at the surprise I have for you, something I think you'd be very interested in. All right. Let's go take a look. All right. All right, call me out. Yeah, overall, the CJ4 has really all the plus points uh, in, in my goals. I'm, I'm, I'm seeking buying an aircraft. There's nothing else out there for the price point. Uh, it is affordable. The acquisition costs are not too high, and the exit plan is also not too bad to get out of there if I have to get rid of it. The WACO is, has been manufactured since 1920 right here in the United States of America. It's very popular between owner pilots who want that stick and rudder feel when they fly an aircraft. So I think Ken's gonna really like the aircraft. Paying homage to the golden age of biplanes is the open cockpit WACO YMF 5D Super. Surrounded by the successful fusion of classic and contemporary, the dual cockpit can seat two passengers in front of the pilot. With a cruise speed of 122 miles per hour, it is powered by a 300 horsepower Jacob seven cylinder radial engine with a 92 inch MT fixed pitch wood prop, asking 550,000. Ken, I'm very excited to show you the Waco aircraft. It's manufactured new today, right here in the United States of America. This plane still has a radial engine. It's a very unique, bi-wing airplane, open air airplane, a true aviator's dream. I love the colors and design. Very nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the traditional tail wheel, like they used to fly. And it's I want to introduce you to Mike. Started. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. So am I pronouncing Waco right? Waco is right. All right. Yes. Coming up on Selling Jets. Mike, this seems like a very 
a fun airplane to fly and an uh, adventurous airplane, obviously, as well. Very curious. Great. Yeah. Can't wait to take a ride. Let's, we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Waco, what a dream come true. Leonard Goldberg from Goldberg Aviation Services has hooked Ken up with factory pilot Mike Hartman to get the specifics of their classic open cockpit stick and rudder biplane, the Waco YMF 5D. So, as he was mentioning earlier, these are built brand new. This is a continued production aircraft from 1935. It's produced by Waco Classic up in Battle Creek, Michigan. The original Waco company was in Troy, Ohio. And they only made about 14 of these back in 1935. So when Waco Classic came around in 1986 and started remaking this airplane, it hit big and they're still hitting great today. So got a lot of modern amenities but it's still a lot like a 1935 airplane. So inside of it, we've got a Garmin 750 and a Garmin 650. So you've got all the good instrumentation in it. You could fit two people up in the front seat. A lot of people use these for hauling rides. So you can fit two people side by side. You can also remove this windscreen and cover it up and that kind of makes it a one holer, makes you feel a little more sleek and zippy. The engine on the aircraft, is a 300 horsepower Jacobs radial engine, seven cylinders. We've got an MT wood prop on there, which kind of keeps that nostalgic look to it. But as you can see on this one, we've got a pretty wild and cool paint job. So anywhere you take it, people are gonna be there. Very nice, Do you have Mike. any questions about the airplane? Very nice, Mike. This seems like a very uh, fun airplane to fly and an uh, adventurous airplane, obviously, especially for a uh, hobbyist pilot, obviously, like I am, and uh, this is something you know to look into for sure. Great. And uh, curious how it flies, absolutely. Yeah. They fly wonderfully. And you can fly IFR, right? You can fly IFR in it if you want to. It's always kind of fun because the controllers get a big kick out of you calling in doing IFR with a Waco. Okay. So I imagine if it's IFR, it might be getting a little wet in there. You could get wet in there, yes, yes. So most of the time we're flying them day VFR. Okay, okay. What's the optimum temperature-wise you would fly to, or how low would you go to? It depends on how cold you want to get. <laughs> if you bundle up pretty warm, you could fly into the 40s. Okay. I myself have flown them a lot colder than that, but I have to. Um, but uh, yeah, usually. Well, you I'm just... a Florida guy, so I, yeah, I, I, Florida I keep guy, it in the 60s, 70s. You're That's... good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're fine there. Yeah. What do you think? First oh. impression. Love it. Love it. Love the design. Love everything about it. You know, it's it's not nostalgic. You know, looking at the props. You know, having a wooden prop that's amazing. Well, very curious. Great. Yeah. Can't wait to take a ride. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Steps to take flight. Okay. All right. Wow, Waco! What a dream come true. Unbelievable. Never thought an airplane would fly the way it handles. The airplane maneuverability, uh, flight characteristics uh, just superseded all my uh, ambitions. Yeah, the reason I like the Waco is you can really fly low over the ground. You really feel the performance of the aircraft being close to earth, being close to everything and doing what you can do, which you can do with other aircraft. Uh, the other reason is I can take my family out, I can put two people up front in the seat and have them enjoy the same things versus me going out by myself on a Sunday, beautiful, Florida day and uh, just enjoy flying. Every landing will give me a full smile. So what else do I want? That was such a nice ride and I can't wait to get back into it again. Coming up on Selling Jets. Ken, have a seat. Let's uh, have a conversation about how you like wow, the airplane. Wow, what a great flight. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, I never thought the airplane would perform the way it did and it really thrilled me. I, I went on high, basically. That's and, fantastic. You know, if you had to choose one or the other, which one would you choose? Leonard Goldberg is the owner of Gold Aviation Services in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Ken, have a seat. Let's uh, have a conversation about how you like wow, the airplane. Wow, what a great flight. Yeah. Unbelievable. Uh, 
I never thought the airplane would perform the way it did, and it really thrilled me. I, I went on high, basically. That's and, fantastic. Uh, you can do maneuvers in that aircraft, you can't do maneuvers in any other airplanes. I knew it. It's like, wow, what a teaser. Yeah, so let's go over the two airplanes. Mm -hmm. So we looked at a jet airplane. Leonard first showed Ken a light business jet, the 2013 Cessna Citation CJ4. Single pilot certified, it seats two crew and eight passengers, asking seven million. And we looked at a very unique aircraft that's an aviator's dream. Then, for the old school aviator in Ken, Leonard unveiled the open cockpit biplane, Waco YMF 5D Super, asking 550,000. Let's talk more about the CJ4. Is that jet everything you want? It, it sure is, uh, because it meets my expectations, it meets the missions, uh, and big tank operating costs. Uh, low fuel costs, programs, it's a no-brainer. Right. So and, no surprising. And for an owner pilot, it's, you know, it's a Cessna. Correct. It really behaves well. Correct. You can go into short fields. Um, I'm a pre-Cessna pilot myself, so I've done, uh, flown the citations, the earlier citations myself. Right. So it looks like a great price too, so. Yeah. Uh, so I introduced you to the Waco, and it looks like you had a great time. Awesome time. Yeah, which is also a unique airplane. You know, I mean, they don't make them like that anymore, literally. It's the only one in the world that's uh, continuous production aircraft. Ken, I'm really excited you have such a positive response to both airplanes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, based on that, if you had to choose one or the other, which one would you choose? I'll, I'll buy both. You buy both? I'll buy both. You buy both. I think got, you got me hooked on both. So both it is. I'm really excited for you. And after the uh, five days with Mike, I look forward to being the first passenger in the aircraft. Uh, and then we'll go for a jet ride. Let's make it work. All right. With both planes, the acquisition of the 2013 Cessna CJ4, Ken would have the ability to offer his new jet for charter. And as a longtime aviator, training for three weeks in his CJ4 would earn him a new aircraft type rating. And with additional training, Ken would be able to fly the CJ4s as a charter pilot for Gold Aviation Services. Like the model planes he built as a child, Ken's new toy, the open cockpit stick and rudder Waco biplane, he surpasses even his most lofty goals of becoming an aircraft owner. Yeah, got the best of both worlds, you know. I, I decided to buy both of them. I can't believe it myself. They both fulfill my each needs and desire and there's nothing else which is more important. I mean, I have a jet on one side and I have a fun toy on the other side. Can't ask for anything more.